I first became aware of Alan Peters' furniture designs in 1962 while studying for my A-level woodwork. He not only helped me pursue my own passion, but he's influenced countless other woodworkers worldwide over the past few decades. He came from, if you like, quite traditional roots. Um, uh, obviously the closest association we have with that is, uh, is Edward Barnsley, where he trained. And, um, but Alan took it to the next stage. He had the heritage of that fine craftsmanship, all that that represents and the tradition, but he informed it with a worldwide view of his own travels, Korea and Japan. But allowing for movement is quite a major kind of theme in your work. It is, it is. Consideration. Yeah, it is. The other problem that we have as designers in the 1980s is simply this problem of movement in central heating. And this whole table is designed, in fact, to move in one plane. Integrity, without a shadow of doubt. Absolutely, he's, ama he's an amazing man, and he has absolutely full, full, he's, he's solid, very solid. He did not waver from his design ethic, he did not waver from his work ethic. You know, I must have a certain amount of freedom when I'm doing it in the sense that um, I give them a drawing and then I may be, may be three quarters through this piece and I suddenly think, ah, it would be nice if we did so. Uh, 101 different things, some was used to tan leather, etc. But what Alan made was a chest that had all the strength of what I think first interested him in furniture making it had its, its roots in the arts and crafts movement, but uh, it was really a contemporary piece of furniture of great power. And who should turn up in the audience but Alan? He'd got a light bus, National Express, all the way from Devon to Edinburgh just to be there, to listen to other people in the group speak. If I'd known he was going to make the effort, I would have had him as the star speaker. Whether he is an artist or craftsman, or whether practicality or visual appearance comes first, Alan has clearly made an art of his craft and is not to be held back by tradition but to move it forward. As you can see I'm obviously a great fan um, but, but I suppose talking about the time I actually spent with him he was, he was, he was a great um, teacher. Uh, Alan has just been, I, I, just, I just think of him as a, just a huge inspiration to us all. He wasn't held down by his arts and crafts background, he added a tremendous amount to it and I think that's a, a, a wonderful legacy.